Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to worship here on the first Sunday after Christmas um, and on the day after Christmas Day. So we're glad you are here with us today. Welcome to the baptismal family as we celebrate the baptism of Cooper Red Cross today. Uh, we have a couple announcements. Um, next Sunday is we're going to celebrate Epiphany Sunday. So Epiphany is um, on January 6th, but we are going to celebrate it a few days early. And so I don't know if you guys remember last year, but I like to give out words. So words of intention for the year. So our star words. So you'll get a little star with a word in it. Um, and that can be your word of intention for the year. Um, words that you can think about and pray about as you go throughout the year. So that will be next Sunday. Uh, and then all of our activities will start up again on January 5th. So we will have 7th and 8th grade and 9th grade confirmation on January 5th, as well as uh, JAM will be starting as well. If you have any kids that would like to be registered for K through 6, uh, please uh, go ahead and register on our websites. Uh, even if you didn't participate in the fall, we would love to have you join us for the spring session, winter and spring session. Anybody have any additional announcements this morning? All right, with that being said, Please stand as you are able as we begin worship this morning. We'll sing joy to the world.
God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and joined in God's mission for the love of the world. Parents and sponsors trusting in the grace and the love of God, who do you present for the sacrament of holy baptism? As you bring your child to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with responsibilities to live with them among God's faithful people, to bring them to the word of God and the Holy Supper, to teach them the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the, and the Ten Commandments, to place in their hands the Holy Scriptures, and to nurture them in faith and prayer, so that your child may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ in word and deed, care for others and the world that God made, and work for justice and peace. Sponsors and parents, you promise to help this child grow in the Christian faith and life. And people of God, do you promise to support Cooper Ray Krug and pray for him in his new life in Christ? Amen. Please stand as you are able. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ, to reject sin, and to confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? And do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? With the whole church, let us confess our faith. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O oh God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters and you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family, and through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raise us up to new life in Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord and the unity of the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Amen. Cooper Ray Krug, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. No problem at all. <laughs> Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give your daughters and sons new birth. You cleanse them from sin and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Cooper Ray with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Cooper Ray Krug, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Amen. May you let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. <coughs>
we light this off the Christ candle, which is a reminder of Jesus' birth, and then we give this, We'll give this to the parents since the sponsors are a little busy, right? <laughs> and this is a reminder of God's light that's now in Cooper's life. And every baptismal birthday, what your the goal is, at least I think I've only known pastor's kids to do this, but that you light the candle to remember this day, to remember this baptism, to remember that the light of Christ is within Cooper and it's in his life forever. So that may be something that you can do every year. So let us welcome the newly baptized. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Let's give Cooper Ray a response. Our first reading for today comes from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shone. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you, as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor you have broken, as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Now sing our first carol, Angels We Have Heard on High.
11 through 14. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Our second carol will be Old Little Town of Bethlehem, number 279, verses 1, 2, and 4. faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. All the earth break forth in joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills sing it together for joy at the presence of the Lord. For he is coming to judge the earth, he will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Our next carol, our third carol is What Child Is This? Number 296.
comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration. It was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and he was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for him, for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah and the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We'll now sing our fourth carol, Away in the Manger, number 277. Jerusalem with him, 
and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. And they told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary and his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasured chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We'll but now sing our fifth carol, Infant Holy, Infant Holy, number 276. <laughs> of 
a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage. Then as a widow to the age of 84, she never left the temple, but worshiped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At the moment she came and began to praise God and to speak with the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. We'll now sing our sixth carol, the first Noel, verses 1, 2, and 3. Son, 
full of grace and truth. Here ends our readings. We'll now sing our seventh carol, O Come, All Ye Faithful, number 283. Praise God, all creatures here below. 
You are the shepherds telling the story. We tell, tell it in the streets, the streets and across the land. You are the wise ones worshiping with thanksgiving. We, we worship, worship with gifts of song and service, and talents and treasures. You are the angels announcing peace. We, we live, live with joy and go now in peace. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn this morning is number 290, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Thank you. 